Okay, we're doing B for bananas now. So this is rather extensive compared to the A. So I think the first word is bangers. Though I think that's more British than Aussie, isn't it? Bangers. Yeah, we call them snags. Yeah, so I, I don't, I, you know, I, I disagree with that inclusion in this dictionary. How about a Barney? Do you agree with that? It's a blue. <sighs> it's a fight. Two people having a Barney. Yeah, I know, but blue, I, I'd call more of a Biffo. Biffo is more popular. If you're having a Barney with someone, you're having a blue. Yeah, I know, but you know, it's not as common. We're about to have a Barney right <laughs> now. <laughs> All right, next one. No, I don't know about this one. Beano, bean fest. Never heard of it. Apparently it's a festiv festivity or celebration. Neither have I, so I don't know where this person's from. We call it a shindig. Yeah, but shindig's more Aussie, uh, British, sorry. No, it's shindigs. Shindig's a noun. You go for a shindig, you don't go for a bean fest. <laughs> like a sausage fest. That's what I was thinking. Move on. I actually want beanie. No, 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 no. Before you start, it says a small, close fitting knitted cap, often with a pom pom on top. And, you know, pom poms aren't that popular anymore. No, we call them pom poms. <laughs> But the beanie is a woolen cap that goes on your head. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's, you can have a beanie without the pom-poms. That's my point. Yeah. That's why a beanie is a beanie. A pom-pom is a thing that's stuck on top. All right. Big smoke. City. Billabong. Waterways. Well, let's say waterhole. Billy. It's a pot to boil tea in. Mm-hmm. Have you ever used it to smoke marijuana? That's a bong. <laughs> you know, they didn't include bong here. They put Billy, but not... A bong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that's generally a drug <laughs> piece of paraphernalia. Like an orchie bottle. <clears throat> you got to explain. It's homemade bong out of a drink container that has orange juice in it. But that's not... And the a thing. garden hose. It's not... That's under it's O. No, that's under O. It's under whatever because it's marijuana. It's great. Move on. <coughs> bloke. That's a bloke. Is a opposite to a Sheila. What's a Sheila? A woman. <laughs> <laughs> Bludger. <sighs> Someone know. who doesn't do much. I know. That's a bit of a contradiction though because it's, I, I, it has, I hear you it, yeah it has two meanings it can actually mean somebody who's actually doing nothing and taking the piss out of someone yeah but you, you call your mate bludger yeah because you you're taking the piss out of them yeah exactly so bludger is more like a mate no a bludger is actually someone who actually doesn't do anything yeah but your, it, it your has, mate your mate's has, not a bludger though it has two meanings okay. it can be used in two words <sighs> okay Blue, I think we've discussed this before. Yeah, it's a Barney fight. Bluey. Uh, usually a red-headed guy or a name of a uh, cattle dog, mm, mm. which is blue. Yeah. Now, um, can you explain why they call them blueies when they're redhead? It's better than call them a ranger. Because we do things opposite. If, you know, if they're red, we call them blue. Yeah. I have no idea why we call them. You, that's what the etymology says. Okay. Okay. Bonza. Ripper. Beauty. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> it says excellent, attractive, and pleasing. Yeah, as in that chill is Bonza. <laughs> Bottle. Place to go get grog from. Okay, what's grog? Alcohol. Okay, see, because they have a bottle shop or a liquor store, so you, you, you kind of have to explain and not... We have drive through bottles, which is great, because you can pull your ute up, whip on out, grab a six-pack, and then piss off. It's really good. 
No, you have to explain what a ute is in a six pack. Okay, a ute is what you would call a pickup truck. A six pack is six beers and pissing off is leaving the place. Bush Telegraph. Wife. Excuse me? Yeah. No. Tell your missus no. anything. Get around the, no, get no. around the countryside faster than anything. No, that's your mum. <laughs> that's your mum. Like I said. Anyway, let's move on. Bushwhacker. Yeah, I know. No, nah, I haven't like, really got much for that one. Apparently, one who lives in the bush. No, no that's a bushy. A bushwhacker is a... I don't think I could use that. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. No, 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 no. Tell, tell, them, tell them what a bushwhacker is. A wanker. What's a wanker? Someone who plays with their penis. Is that all? Yep. Okay. That's the polite version. All right. What's the impolite version? Moving on. Bush week. Um, it technically isn't anything. It's just, uh, to use it in a saying, it says, what do you matter? What's the matter, mate? You think it's bush week. It means you don't have a clue what's going on, basically. Well, their, their explanation is it's a fictitious week when country people come to town, a time of the year when stupid things happen. That is a load of shit. You know, I think it's more like a BNS. No. No, it feels, it feels to me it's more of a BNS. Because okay. bush, bush week... If you say, oh, what, bush week, basically means you're taking the piss out of them again. Okay, you have to explain what BNS is. BNS, they call it Bachelor and Spinsler's Ball. It's basically where all the sheep shitters get together, get drunk and get laid. Okay, what's a sheep shitter? Person who works on a sheep station. No, they own the sheep station. No, no, sheep shitter is anybody who works on a station. Run by jackaroos and jillaroos. Yeah, well, <clears throat> well my, my understanding was a sheep shitter was the owner. But anyway, let's move on. Bushy tail. Fluffy tail. <laughs> it says full of health and good spirits. I, I think it must be because of what possum was. There's like. a term called bright eyed and bushy tailed, which mm -hmm. means you're fit and well. Okay. Bust. Tits. <laughs> <laughs> the other bust. Oh, it means you're broke. No, Got no money. No, the third other definition of bust. The head of a Roman emperor. Police bust. Oh, you're being nicked. Mm. Okay. Yeah, to apprehend for an illegal activity. Now that's busted. <laughs> you say bust, I think of boobs. Yeah, yeah, I think this was supposed to be the verb and not the noun. Or be more specific. Okay. But. Ass. Yeah, all right. I think any more. Or as you Americans would call it, a fanny. Oh, we will not go there. Um, any more bees before we've not covered? Uh, bushy? What's a bushy? Someone from the bush. No, I thought that was a rural fire service person. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a, a that's a volunteer firefighter. Yeah, but they call them bushies too. Yeah, bushies. Yeah, yeah. any other bees? Um... We might we might do an addendum or something, okay? Yeah, we call that an ad too. Okay, all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll move on to C. Okay, bye.